As the first Muslim model to make a splash on the cover of Sports Illustrated, Kenza Ferrati combines her runway success with her passion to bring about social awareness. Her latest fashion label, called Ose, meaning Our Stories Are Yours, is all about putting Tunisian labels on the map. She wants her fans to know the origins of the brands and appreciate where they came from. Kenza Ferrati joins us from New York to tell us more. Kenza, Ose stands for Our Stories Are Yours. Whose stories are you trying to tell? So Ose, Our Stories Are Yours, tell the stories of people who make the products, the manufacturers, because I think it's very lost. We buy a product and it's a, it's a product. It can be a piece of chicken or it can be, you know, a beautiful pair of shoes. But there is so much stories who brought that, that product into your life and people who invested in it. And I think that it was a little bit sad that it got lost. I, now when I go back to Tunis and I sit down with some of our artisans and I show them pictures or I told them stories of people, how what they said when they bought the product or what they had to say when they heard their stories. And that shared humanity is so lost. And that's also one of the most important part of, of Ose is really, really to share that, that story and the traceability. You talk a lot about being a conscious consumer. Yeah. How can we buy more ethically? Well, I guess, yeah, maybe uh, being, a cons uh, being a, uh, constant consumer for me means is being aware of how you buy and what you buy and how it impacts uh, the, basically the world around you. I live in a society where we consume a lot. Um, for good or for bad. And I believe we should have more responsibility in how and what we buy. I think we should buy less and we should buy smarter. Now, let's talk a little bit more about your brand, Ose. You have a strong focus on craftsmanship and, and heritage. Can you tell me about one piece that really pays tribute to Tunisia's craftsmanship? Oh, yeah, okay. So one of our favorite items, I mean, definitely our favorite items is la babouche. Um, la babouche goes from Turkey to all the way to Morocco and it has different style and, and looks and journeys. And the one that we revisited, if I may say, is, is one that is a Tunisian one. It's, it's, it's actually mostly for, it was actually mostly for men in the 19th centuries and men used to wear it indoors, usually in mosques or, or uh, yeah, usually before entering the mosques. And we just revisited this, this piece. We gave it a, a very nice soul and we, we believe it's actually the new ballerina. I, it's, I live in it. It's such an amazing, uh, comfortable shoe and beautiful and stylish and um, and the first time I, I came across it it was actually a, still an, an indoor shoe and I sat down with the artisan who is an amazing amazing guy who is who 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 does everything in in the Medina and who's actually also a singer and He's actually really passionate by, by retelling the story of, of the babouche. And um, we, we worked together for many, actually, years. And I didn't believe it was going to be a business. You told Harper's Bazaar Arabia that fashion is able to reform society. What did you mean by that? I believe the more we know about this amazing, cool Tunisian product, product uh, made in Tunisia, made by mostly women in Tunisia, uh, ho will hopefully bring more and more prosperity and interest and, uh, and engagement to the country. And at, this, at our small level, we, we hope that, you know, it will have this, the, next, this, the next generation going forward, post-revolution, to, 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 to make the country more prosperous. And what do you hope to achieve by bringing together fashion designers and brands from all over the world? Um, so I think the, the core of Ose is collaborating, collaborating with different people who everyone has an amazing story. Everyone that you meet have an amazing story. And, and I believe the more you collaborate together and you work together and you really pick up products that you think will work universally, um, 
that's how we're trying to 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 work. It's really collaborative, and uh, it's you. It's again uh, shared humanities and. And I think universal story again. Um. Kenza Ferrati, the co-founder of Osei the Label, thank you very much for joining us today on Showcase.